Hello, my name is LaFay Austin and I'm a member of the uh, Martin Luther King Commission. And uh, I, we, you, we, our special guest today is going to be Brianna Norwood. And we're just going to just share with you some of the events that we have planned for the Martin Luther King event. Yes. Yes, we have a lot of things going on, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. Now, are we having a march this year? Yes, we are. It'll be uh, Saturday, okay. um, January the 14th okay. at 11 o'clock. But we're asking everyone to be at Grayson Missionary Baptist Church uh -huh. between 10 and 1030 at the latest so that we can start busing people from Great. the church to the city offices for us to march from the city offices back to the church. And awesome. it's located on the corner of Owen K. Gary and 4th Street. Okay, great, great. So if any, any of you would like to march with us that uh, Saturday, please come down by about 1030 and meet us at the Grayson Missionary Baptist Church. We would love to have you. Uh, what else are we going to be doing? Who is one of our, our who are our speakers? Um, our first speaker is the Chief Master Sergeant Eric Duggar, and he's the superintendent of the 71st mission support group from Vance Air Force Base. Okay. And our second speaker is Carl L. King, and mm -hmm. he's with New Hope Baptist Church from Watonga, Oklahoma. Okay, okay. Boy, that sounds exciting. Yeah, you know, we is. can always count on Vance, yeah, Vance is Air Force there. Base to help us with the Martin Luther King celebration. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Well, wonderful. Very good. You know, um, I, I get excited this time of the year when yeah. we put on the event and when we honor Dr. Martin Luther King because he was a man that, number one, he was a man that loved God and he stood for equality for everyone and um, he was just a person that loved everyone. It was, wasn't about color, was it? No, no. it was for everyone mm -hmm. and that's why we encourage the community to come out because it's not just the African American celebration because he stood for equality among everybody and it's a good time for everyone to come together and fellowship and enjoy one another absolutely absolutely um and a, another thing that i enjoy it seems like every year the martin luther king commission is getting larger and more and more participation yes and we are very happy to have not only just our community churches to participate in our event mm -hmm. but the central christian church is going to be helping us and yeah. coming full force with their choir so yes. we are going to be having a wonderful yes. time yes ma'am <laughs> absolutely <clears throat> is um what about our kids? What are our kids going to be doing? Uh, the for? kids are, they actually play a big role in the celebration. They uh -huh. um, have poster and essay contests, okay. and it's where the children write an essay based mm -hmm. off of our theme. Okay. And our theme for this year is Continue the Dream and Come Together. So mm. they would write either an essay yes. uh, based on that title, or they would draw a poster or, you know, come up with something creative to show, you know, what they think about the theme. And the deadline mm -hmm. for that is January 9th. Ninth. Absolutely wonderful. Now, yes, do we have all the volunteers that we may need? Is it still open if we need uh, some of the communities or some of our teachers to help us with the essays or Absolutely. anything? Absolutely. Yes, okay. ma'am. The well, teachers will be playing more of a role this year, actually. They'll help us do the judging and stuff great, like that. Great. And if you're out there in our, uh, in our audience and that you would like to participate and haven't been contacted, please feel free to contact any one of the members of the Martin Luther King Commission. And I'd like to, uh, at this time, is really compliment Brianna, because we, we consider Brianna one of our young uh, members of our commission that is always participating, and she's also our secretary. Mm -hmm. So it's always great to have the young, the old, the middle-aged together, working yeah, together for a good is. common cause, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. That's right. Amen <laughs> to that. And what about uh, Pastor uh, Williams? Now, he, Pastor Williams is our president. Yes, and he's also the pastor of Grayson yes. uh, Missionary Baptist Church. And we are so grateful to him for allowing us to use his church yes. for the past three years. So Absolutely. that's what we'll be meeting at this year, and we appreciate his Very. willingness, you know. Yes, yes. And I would also like to take the freedom to uh, thank my church, Central Assembly of God, because they have hosted the Martin Luther King event yes. for uh, several years. Mm -hmm. and uh, they've always participated with us. Yeah. So uh, it's always good to have 
different churches to mm -hmm. help us, you know, uh, celebrate Mr. And Martin Luther King. And for them to be involved and willing to be involved That's with that. exactly right. Exactly. I'm telling you. Well, what about uh, some of the other younger kids your, your age have... Um, do you think we have any good uh, prospects for them to come and want to participate, you know, to come and join you? Absolutely. I believe uh, that it's welcome, you know, mm -hmm. for any age group. And right. it's a good thing for us to, you know, come to things like this to show, you know, young people that this is what you need to admire. This is what you need to, right. you know, achieve to be like once you get older because, you know, he stood for something so great. He's right. the reason that, you know, a lot of us can do what we do now. That's and exactly he's right. something that, you know, should be looked up to. So Absolutely. I believe it's important for them for to them come to, out. That's right. And, and, you know, it seems like when you participate in something, you come to understand it more mm -hmm. and, and have more respect right. for it. So mm -hmm. um, I'm excited about that. We always welcome the young people to come and, yes. and join us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How many songs is the community choir going to be singing with Miss Vicki Baldwin? I leading? believe they have uh, two or three selections oh, okay. on the program. Oh, okay. And it's always a good time. Her and her son, oh, Alfred goodness. Ball, when they do a very, very good Absolutely. job Absolutely. You will have a hallelujah time, boy, yes. under the direction of Miss Vicki Baldwin with yes. our community choir yes. and Reverend a little Baldwin Jr. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So come on, just come and join us and see what it's like. Yeah. You know, someone else I'd like to uh, recognize is the, um, the, the women, the interracial women. Yes, they help us out every oh, year. Oh, my goodness, yes. Every year. They're yes. very willing to help us out with whatever we need, so we appreciate right, that. Right, right. We have a lot of, even a lot of companies around Enid that donate to, mm -hmm. uh, to the Martin Luther King. And we want them, uh, even, and we want them to know that we really appreciate yes. it. And the money that they donate to us, you know, goes to a wonderful cause. A great cause. That's right. A scholarship and that, for a child. So, that's I mean, exactly you're right. You're helping someone further their education, so that's always a good thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, what are we going to be doing? Are we going to be serving or just... No, we're actually going to get to enjoy the celebration this year. Yay. It's going to be held um, at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. at the... Um, Central National Bank Event Center yes. um, downtown mm -hmm. at 3 o'clock, like okay. I mentioned. And there will be a full meal oh. after the celebration so you can, you know, fellowship with sure. others and people that you haven't seen, you know, in a couple of weeks or maybe a few days, even yeah. a few hours, you yeah. know. You get to, you know, participate in fellowship with them. Very good. Now, audience, did you hear that? Free meal. So you better come and join us. Um, I'd also like to thank the city for yes. helping us yes. uh, put on the event. It, uh, we just really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, the city does a lot of good things, you know, for the mm -hmm. Martin Luther King Commission. And we appreciate our, our city uh, for helping us with that. Um, anything else that you would like to add, maybe? No, just to welcome everyone to come out and mm -hmm. have a good time and fellowship and enjoy themselves. That's exactly right. So... Audience, you heard that. We want you to come out and let's let's just have let's just have that building overflowing with everyone, with people coming to pay honor to our Dr. Martin Luther King, because he was a great man, a good man, a man that stood for equality and stood for rights for everyone. So um, we just want you to come on out and join us. And at this time, we would like to um, Thank you for joining us for Community Talk, and we look forward to seeing you January the 14th, really all day long. Hi, my name is Tammy Wilson, and I am a member of the Gaslight Theater here in Enid. And uh, the Gaslight is one of the most active community theaters in the state of Oklahoma. And right now we're working on our annual teen show, and I am the Gaslight teen sponsor. 
And so today I have uh, Nolan Reagan here with me, and we are going to do community talk today about Gaslight Theater, the teen show. Hi, Nolan. Hello. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself first. Uh, well, I'm a sophomore at Chisholm High School, and I'm currently involved with the Chisholm Drama Club, speech team, band, and track. Okay. And um, Nolan plays a character named Brad in our upcoming teen show called Everybody Loves Opal. Um, Brad, you are Brad. No, I call him Brad at rehearsal all the time, so it's kind of what I've gotten used to. Um, Nolan, tell, him, tell us a little bit about what the play is about. Well, uh, my group of friends, I guess you could call us, uh, we're a little bit of hooligans. Uh, it's just us three, uh, Saul, Gloria, and me, Bradford Winter. Uh, we sell bootleg perfume, and we come across this unsuspecting old lady, and we plan to kill her and inherit some of her insurance money. Yeah, and um, it turns out that the, the main character, Opal, which is the title character and Everybody Loves Opal, she's a little old lady that happens to live by the city dump, and she lives in a great big house, and she is a bit of a hoarder. So the set will be really interesting. Um, my daughter, Bailey Wilson, is our assistant director, and she's been doing the set design. And uh, so our set is interesting because we have the house, and then we also have to fill it with items that one would hoard from a dump. So that's been kind of fun to try to do all that. And um, so in the middle of all of this, there's kind of a little bit of chaos just from that in itself. Um, so tell me a little bit about all of the different characters. Well, Opal, of course, she's, uh, she's an elderly lady and she doesn't seem to quite be there all the way. She's, she's a little crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she's a crazy old cat lady. She has a little cat, which is a fun part of the play, definitely. Um, Gloria, she's a ditzy blonde and um, one of my coworkers who I just despise. Uh, I'm a professor or an ex-professor now, and a chemist, and I'm the one who creates the perfume for our business. Saul is our uh, leader. He kind of overlooks the operation. And we also have a doctor who helps us get our... The insurance the on The Opal, insurance yeah. set up. And we also have an officer who causes some problems for us. Right, and uh, the cast is, um, we have Nolan Riggin is playing um, Bradford Winter. We have Josh, Joshua Beebe plays Saul. Carol Jarrett plays Gloria. Gabby Nelson plays Opal. And uh, Wyatt Wilson is the police officer and Peyton Wilson plays the doctor. And it's kind of a, it's kind of tagged as a prank in three acts. You really never know what's gonna happen. There's a lot of plot twists, which is kind of fun. Um, tell us a little bit about um, how you got interested in doing drama. Um, I used to live in New Mexico, and my church would always do these little uh, plays, I guess you could call them, just little reenactments from like the Bible per se, and I just always did those, and I really enjoyed it, and I like speaking in front of people. And you're on the speech team in, at Chisholm? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm currently doing a, a humorous interpretation and a humorous duet. Well, that brings me to um, some of the things that we do at Gaslight Teens is we have a lot of kids that are in the competitive drama and speech um, organizations at their various schools. And so one of the things that we've done in the past and that we're going to try to do again in this next year, it, um, we're going to try to have some showcases of some of the things that the kids take to contest that the parents and the and their friends and family don't really get to see because they take them to contest and so um, we're going to try to have some showcases and and let the kids come and perform their pieces here in town and um, as part of the gaslight teen group um, the teens are open from sixth graders to 12th graders in our area it doesn't matter what school they go to um, it's open to everybody and we do one big teen show a year and then we do several different things throughout the year. We have some different workshops that we're going to work on. We have um, a trip to Stillwater that we're looking to take in spring so we can go to some workshops at the, for the OCTA over there, which is the Oklahoma Community Theater Association. Um, 
So if you are in the 6th through the 12th grade or you have a child or you know somebody that you think would be interested, please have them contact me through the Gaslight Theater um, if they would like to be part of the Gaslight Teen Group because we would love to have them. Uh, we've had a very active, very talented group of kids that have been there for the last few years and a lot of them have moved on and graduated. And so when we had auditions for this show, we had a whole new group of people show up. So it's exciting. We have all new faces and they're from all different schools all around town. So that's been really fun to get to meet and um, know all these new people. And uh, so our play dates are actually January 20th, 21st and 22nd. And then they are the following week, the 26th, 27th and 28th. Um, so on the Sunday one will be a matinee and our uh, practice now at the theater that we've started doing is on opening night for every show. We do a big opening night, um, kind of a gala thing. Not we, It's a little bit more, it's a little fancier than your regular show nights. We have food and we have drinks and we have, um, it's a, just a little bit of a bigger deal. It's the same price for a ticket, but if you can get on an opening night, you're gonna have a lot more to do and a lot more to see and it's more of a social time. So our opening nights at Gaslight, that's happening for every opening night of the, of the season. So if you get tickets to shows, um, I would encourage you to try to get your opening night tickets because those are going to be one of the funner times to go, um, definitely. And the theater box office um, is open throughout the week, so you can get your tickets in person or you can go online to gaslighttheater.org and get tickets that way. And um, we would encourage everybody to come out and support our team program and see our show. And um, do you have anything that you want to add about the show? Or tell me about what it's been like for you at rehearsals. Has that been? Uh, this is the first Gaslight show I've ever mm -hmm. been in, and I really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's a little bit more commitment, but it is definitely worth it. I love socializing with other people. It is fun. It's a, it is a big commitment, and, but it is a lot of fun. And when you get to know all your friends at the theater, it becomes like having a whole different family. Um, so I hope that we uh, get to continue bringing the community these fun teen events throughout the next year. And um, we hope that you guys will get tickets and come see Everybody Loves Opal.